So tennis elbow is basically a tendinopathy injury to the extensor muscles of the forearm. So the wrist extensor muscles will attach to the outside of your elbow. That's called the lateral epicondyle, right? Those muscles turn into a tendon. A tendon attaches to a bone, which is your humerus. And the pain is originating. What we think is originating from is going to be from the tendon itself. Okay. And that's where that injury is coming from. So the next natural conversation is going to be tendonitis versus tendinosis or tendinopathy, right? So initially we thought tennis elbow was mostly inflammatory, right? When we think tendonitis, that itis means inflammation, all right? However, over the course of time, we took biopsies of chronic tennis elbow tendons, and we found there's an absence of inflammatory cells. There are some specific inflammatory cytokines that are going to be there, but it's not the same as a traditional inflammatory response, okay? So natural conclusion is this is more likely what's called a tendinosis. And what this is, is a symptomatic degenerative process associated with increased fibroblast, vascular hyperplasia, and unstructured collagen, right? And there's no complete correlation between the degree of tendinosis and symptoms, right? And you don't need to get rid of this tendinosis in order to get out of pain and back to your life. So what is the etiology of this? What is that mechanism of injury? Well, we think it's from excessive gripping, wrist extension, radial deviation, or wrist supination. So basically too much work for the wrist extensors, right? The involved tendons are going to be the tendons coming from the common wrist extensors where the tendon originates on the humerus. The most common muscle that's involved is the ECRB or extensor carpi radialis brevis, and it's involved in about 95% of all cases. Other muscles that can be involved are the extensor digitorum, extensor digiti minimi, and extensor carpi ulnaris. But keep in mind, these are not as commonly involved. So here's what I want you to do next, guys. If you enjoyed this video so far, I have an entire course. It's free. It's called the Fitness Pain-Free Mini Course. And we go over three lessons. It's going to help you take a lot of this information that we went over so far and put it into practice. The first lecture is called Why We Need a Better System. So first and foremost, the way we treat fitness individuals, all right, athletic people in the gym from a physical therapy perspective is pretty much broke, okay? So we need a better system to serve the folks that are in the gym, that get hurt, they want to get back to training, all right? Lecture number two is called Seven Reasons Why People Get Hurt in the Gym. And essentially, we have to know the reasons why people get hurt in the gym so we can keep them safe in the future, right? And when they get hurt, we have to know why and how to get them back to training in the gym. Okay. So a thorough understanding of this is very, very important. I actually have a really cool infographic that goes along with this lecture that you get for free as well. And lastly, we go over a case study of how to get someone out of pain and back to training. So these principles are all phenomenal, but we don't actually put it together and you don't understand how to create a program to get people back in the gym and keep them safe for the long term, then we lose, right? So I'll put a link in the show notes for this. It's a fitness pain-free mini course. Definitely check this out.